Hey, welcome back to my vlog. This is Liz here. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Today is Monday, March 15th. I'm gonna kind of try and just do like weekly vlogs, I think. I know I usually do days in my life, but the days in my life are kind of turn into weekly vlogs. So I know I last left you guys with horrible makeup, so I came back on from last night to this day with better makeup. So I wanted to take pictures. I did this whole face, and then I realized the hair, I wanted to use just the hair I opened up, and I didn't like do anything to it yet, so I have to prep the hair. And I'm probably gonna miss sunlight to take any pictures because the sun's like going down. I'm gonna see and again I'm not a pro at wigs I just was starting to set up the wig stand and I was like let me just start my vlog here now instead of I was gonna wait for after my pictures but so let me just start it now and yeah so I'm gonna let you guys see I've already realized like I need to buy hairpins to hold the wig in place I really want to get more into my wigs and just into my hair into it overall so go so it's Monday it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, had a productive day. I wanted to get a video up today. I'm still editing the haul from Target and Home Goods, so that should be up if not today, tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, it's just, I bought a lot of stuff. bought way more stuff than I thought, so anyways, yeah, let's go. Here is the wig that I got at the end of the last vlog. All I've done so far is just wash it. I'm just going in with this Mayel leave-in conditioner, TGIN mousse, and hair oil just to make sure that the hair doesn't get dry and frizzy. You want to always make sure you use a comb or a brush to work all the products into the hair. <laughs> Mia wanted pancakes and eggs so I decided to make us both breakfast this morning I made pancakes with her and I'm making myself an omelette to have with the croissant
I like to cook my vegetables a little bit first before I add the eggs just to make sure that they have that little saute taste to them. Today I'm using diced onions, tomatoes, and orange peppers. I also made some bacon for Mia so I decided to crumble a little bit and add it to my omelette. This is the final product for my breakfast so I ended up also adding cheese to the omelette and I just had it with croissant and a little bit of bacon on the side and Mia just had pancakes, eggs and bacon as well. I wanted to use one of these charcoal nose masks for my nose. My pores have been kind of out of control so you're supposed to wet your nose put it on, leave it for 15 minutes, and then rip it right off. Guys, it's Wednesday. My lips are chapped. Let me look at it. All right, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try this box. I'm not gonna try, I've used it before, but I don't really remember, so let's try it out. Some with Boxum, I know they're like tingly. It's called the full on lipstick. Let's try it out, so it looks just like this. You scroll it up to let it out, which is so much left in here. So I'm gonna try and just do it on my lips. It's like, yeah, I don't like it. I think it's good for like a nude, but for like someone who has lighter lips, which is not me. I know, I'm feeling a little self-conscious about my lips, but I wanted to like hop on real quick. It's Wednesday, like I said. Mental health is so real. You have to really take care of yourself. You have to make sure you surround yourself with people who take care of you. Not in the sense of taking care of you, but take care of you mentally. Like they are very much aware that someone who's around you, their actions will be affecting upon you and your feelings. So I think it's very much being aware of that. I know I've been saying how I'm just decluttering my life in all aspects, but I think I really need to take a deeper look at the people I surround myself with and if they're not giving me positive vibes, if they're not encouraging me to get to the person I want to be, if they're not really gonna be part of this journey into the person I want to be then I really don't want to incorporate those people into my daily lives like and I'm not saying just to cut off people because I'm definitely not saying that but I think if it's someone worth having in your life to number one have a conversation with them and then to number two just step back and realize it is what it is at the end of the day so that's where I'm at now anyways yeah so I cleaned more makeup brushes today so now I officially have all my makeup brushes clean so as you guys saw from the last vlog to Susanna started school so today's Wednesday so tomorrow it's Thursday and she's going back to actual school whereas this first part of the week she was home but then starting in April she'll just be fully every day going to school. I'm really trying to take this time to kind of just transition. I want to make myself a schedule so I think right tonight I want to sit down and I want to do like a habit tracker which is something I've done in the past like a daily habit tracker, weekly habit tracker, and a monthly habit tracker. I just want to print it out and make sure I'm keeping track of the things that I want to do daily, things I want to do weekly, and the things I want to do monthly. Having something like that really keeps me on track. I'm a very anxious person so just having lists and checking off things and knowing that I'm on track with the things I want to do really helps me out. I've been feeling super anxious lately like my anxiety has been on another level in 2021. Doing these YouTube videos has been helping me and gives me a little sense of control, a little sense of something I can do for myself. So I'm very thankful for YouTube, very thankful for you guys for even watching my videos and you know just even be able to make these videos. So I'm thank you for that. So I'm just gonna make the videos. I'm gonna make this habit tracker. I'm just gonna try and you know keep my mind focused it's so hard 
it's so hard but i'm trying to keep my mind focused and focused as possible so again thank you guys for watching leave me a comment down below do you guys deal with this like i feel like it's an inner battle <laughs> it's like do you deal with this inner battle of a struggle of like who i want to be versus how to get there and then my mind kind of balance up no matter how much progress i see day to day it's just still something here on some days where it's like what are you doing i think they call it imposter syndrome honestly i I think I'm suffering from imposter syndrome and it's anyways what do I have up next this is a habit tracker I think and probably just call it a night for tonight it's now Friday and I'm helping a friend out by participating in this focus group based upon skincare and clean beauty I have no clue what happened to the footage from Thursday but I didn't do much I probably just did some more work on my hair um, and just relaxed and cleaned I turned off my camera and decided that I was going to work on this bald cap wig method for a second time to install my new wig I just got. So as you can see, I am definitely trying this again. So anyway, so it's Friday now. It's this week. I've barely vlogged. I haven't done much. I've been at home cleaning, like cleaning every day. I'm cleaning, cleaning. So as you guys know, last week was Savannah's first week back, like in real school. So I feel like last week and this week, I'm just trying to get accustomed to everything. But like, guys, I'm going to go back to vlogging, more hair videos, all of that definitely coming up like real soon. Like I'm going to get to filming this weekend. So I just got some new products. I want to show you guys. I don't know if you guys remember with the last time I tried the wig install. Yes. Yeah, so that's why I'm like, I'm here I'm gonna try it again anyway so I want to show you guys I got these off of Amazon so that's what I have on my head right now I got these off of Amazon compared to the last ones I had these ones are ten times better I would say already um, the other one it came free with that wig I should have known better than to try and use it but this one so it's darker skin this one was a brown so it's darker skin so I feel like already it looks better with my hair and I'm obviously still gonna add foundation and makeup to it but let me show you guys the comparison from this new one to the old one so the last Last time I did the wig install video, I was wearing one that was this color and this is the new one. So you can already tell like the difference. This one is definitely more brown skin tone and this one is more um, a little bit lighter tone. Like too light for my face orangey more um so i didn't like how it made my wig look under it because then it really looks noticeable i'm excited to retry it with this new wig cap and yeah um i feel like i know i you know i did it once maybe twice will be better maybe third time is even the charm i'm honestly already thinking i might try it a third time with a different wig because i want to get a new wig so guys i also want to order from some small businesses on tiktok because I follow some small business on tiktok so i'm just starting to put in orders here and there as of right now i've ordered from two businesses on tiktok as they come in i just kind of want to share that with you guys so we're going to do an unboxing right here so i'm going to hide my code they gave me so i ordered from glow din 
fashion. It's a bonnet company. I found them on TikTok. I follow them on TikTok. Their bonnets look so cute. I've been wanting better bonnets. I usually just go to the beauty supply store, buy the black bonnets or whatever they have there, whatever color they have. But I've been wanting some nice colorful bonnets. I want to support a small business in the process. So this is Glowden, Glowden Fashion. They sent me an invoice with it, which is great because I hate ordering from anywhere that does not send you an invoice so it comes in plastic packaging and it has their branding on it you know just a warning keep away from children but here's the bonnet itself oh my gosh i love it it's like a blue satin on the inside i'm trying to feel the elastic see if how you know tight it is or good it is this looks awesome i don't know if they're handmade by her or if she buys them and resells but let's try it on it says satin lined hair bonnet 100 percent african wax cotton so i'm guessing that's the other side and then the inside is 100 percent satin and this one is a size medium it says i don't remember there being sizes on the website maybe there was okay it definitely has a lot of space to it i think it's cute i honestly think it's cute so i'll definitely be giving her a shout out but i think it'll be great for bedtime for sleeping or for when i the days where i'm deep conditioning and i still want to run an errand because i will go to the store deep conditioning so i think this will be great to cover it up thank you so much gloating fashion for this bonnet so let me add they have amazing customer service because i was having some issues with the shipping and she was on it right away so shout out to gloating fashion for this all right so what am i going to do next i have to go get savannah from the bus stop pretty soon in about 30 minutes i have to go get savannah i feel like i should finish my hair but in order to finish my hair i do so i want to straighten the wig i'm wearing as well but i'm thinking if i should put it on my head and then i can straighten it after i think that's going to work best because if i only have 30 minutes i should probably just work on installing the hair now and then i'm going to use time after after i pick up savannah should i because i want to wash the hair then i'd have to blow dry it guess i could put on a different wig to go get savannah i'm gonna, I'm gonna just take this off and see with a different wig i'm not gonna install two wigs but this is such a weird feeling all right i'm gonna try and put the makeup across so i'm gonna use the dior foundation let's try this I can already tell I want this piece off. I feel like sometimes I can see my hair going with this and I don't like it. At least I found some use for this sample I was supposed to do. I have to use the alcohol. I'm supposed to wipe off the excess. Got to be doing that now so I can go back in with makeup I just don't want the got to be on my forehead honestly guys I already think I'm doing a way better job but we'll see I'm just stopping here only because I just want to see it how it looks and I know I can still fix it but I'm super hungry I have to get myself a snack before I go pick this girl up guys this looks so horrible I would never go out in public like this like I would rather wear a bonnet but <laughs> we are where we are. I'd rather not have my bald wig cap either. So bald wig cap, bad wig. I don't know, but I'm hungry. I just don't want to waste time doing this wig just to go outside and come back in and take it off. So this is the wig you guys have seen me wear a few times already. Um, it's not that bad. No, I have a new wig. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the new one, which you guys saw me earlier this week when I got it. This one's a four by four. The new one's a thirteen by four, so it goes all the way across. So I could just wear this one to the bus stop. Oh yeah. I have two wigs. I keep forgetting two curly wigs that are better. Yes, this looks way better. It's just the fact that this is the 4x4, four four, so I have to cover it. Okay, so I'm going to go to the bus stop like this. <laughs> oh man, that helmet here, it got to go, but it's good for practicing stuff on. Yeah, so I'm going to have a snack, go get Savannah from her bus stop, and I'll be back. Alright guys, I feel like I'm always saying like, oh, it's been so long, all oh, this and that. Again, I don't know why the suns are in my eyes, but it's now like... It's almost five. I literally, I feel like I've been cooking since I last stopped because I went to go have a snack and I decided to have a BLT. So then I had to make the bacon. I just um, cut up the lettuce, cut up, 
cooked tomatoes, everything. So that's what I had. I was ordering Instacart at the same time. I wanted to go get takeout for dinner, but Mia was like, no, I don't want to go, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, whatever. She doesn't want to go, so I was like, fine. That's good anyways. I've been spending way too much money on takeout, so I said, let me order through Instacart, and then that way, you know, I'll cook her what she wants, cook me what we want, and we'll be good. Instacart really came right as I was about, like I cooked the bacon and everything. I just got my bread out of the toaster. Instacart said they were downstairs, so I had to stop all that, go get my food, and then once I got up, I had to put away the cold stuff, and then like that was a whole ordeal, and then I had to make myself a whole new piece of toast because that toast was cold, and I don't do cold toast. So anyway, so I had a BLT. It was so good. It was BLT with um, avocado in it, and I I don't know. I'm biased to BLT, but I love a BLT, and I love making it. It's like, what do you guys feel about the cooking videos? Like when I involve cooking in my vlogs, I feel like some people like it. Like I maybe I wish I could do a poll, but I'm gonna do it for today. So today I'm making chicken curry chicken for my what chicken for my yeah they're on the table I made it for you you didn't hear me all right and that's me and she wants her mozzarella sticks I have to cook 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 all right so then I made me all of that I ate my BLT and I'm like okay let me just get started on dinner while I'm in the kitchen because I could at least just cook dinner now I'm putting away all the groceries do all that now and then later I could just now I'm thinking I could just sit down, do my hair, and then once I'm done with my hair, I could just eat. I'd rather not be back and forth in the kitchen. I could just do everything now and clean up. So that's where I'm at. I'm still in the kitchen. I'm still cooking. It's 5 p.m. So I'm going to bring you guys to see my curry chicken. I have never made curry chicken before, but I recently made a curry shrimp and put it on Instagram and a lot of people wanted me to share. So I decided I would share this curry chicken recipe with you guys. I am making it exactly the same way that I made the shrimp curry that I posted on Instagram. The only difference is I've substituted the shrimp for chicken and I also have more vegetables that I'm adding in. This badia curry powder is the main ingredient to my dish and I will keep adding it along to the sauce as I'm cooking. I'm adding chopped onions, red peppers and orange peppers. Coconut milk is what gives it the creamy soup-like look to your curry and it just makes it so sweet and delicious at the same time. I don't measure anything out and I'm just doing everything to taste so you'll see me continue to add curry powder and coconut milk until I'm pretty much satisfied with the amount just to match the amount of vegetables I have and the chicken I have. Thank you. 
final step is to add the chicken back in and just let everything simmer until it's all done and ready to eat. So as you just saw, I made the curry chicken. Um, I'm not gonna eat it yet, like I said, so I'm gonna save that for like two hours from now. I don't know when I'm hungry again. I'm gonna make a side of broccoli to go with it. So I'm gonna have broccoli, rice with the curry chicken, which also have vegetables in it. That will be dinner. It's Friday, so have a later dinner. So I'm gonna get to the hair stuff. Hair stuff and then yeah we'll see where that goes hopefully it comes out okay guys since i put all that product in this hair earlier in the week i decided to rewash it with this co-wash from tgin i'm reapplying the same leave-in conditioner and oil just not adding the mousse i need to buy wig pins i think i said that The green bottle has a heat protectant within it and the label has all rubbed off so I honestly don't remember what the name was. You guys know I rarely put heat on my actual hair but I do have this bottle of heat protectant. It's so old because when I used to wear wigs and I used to have it a lot before the big chop but honestly this bottle is now a few years old and I have no clue what the company name is. The styrofoam head just was not trying to let me live. I ended up figuring out I could just use thumbtacks from my bulletin board and I used that and I stuck the wig right to the styrofoam head. The hair is now pretty much all dry so I just used the blow dry because I didn't want to start attempting to straighten it without drying the hair for since I just washed it right now again it looks so good honestly with me doing barely anything on it the back is actually a little wet still so I'll just dry that but I'm gonna let that dry a little I gotta put the kids to bed soon or not but it's Friday but I wanted to add so this bonnet I've been wearing it now maybe three hours it is tight I don't like the fit of it it hurts my head I probably couldn't sleep all night with this so that's just my update on it I wanted to like it it's huge but it's tight around your head it's too tight like tight would be good like a comforting like if it was a comforting tight fit but it's just like it's so tight it's not even comfortable now I'm going to attempt to straighten this hair in small pieces and small sections. I'm using my Hot Tools flat iron. I love this flat iron because it's a touch screen. It's honestly so easy to use. It's digital and it heats up really fast so you're able to use it pretty quickly after turning it on and it cools down just as fast when you're done and those are so important.
Right here you can see the thumbtack that I placed in the hair. This was really the easiest way for me to get it to stick in place. I strategically placed a few of them around the edge of the wig. guys so this is how my hair came out and I'm kind of satisfied with it but not but again it's only my second time so I'm gonna keep working on it I think um, I'm not sure still how I feel about this bald cap method but I'm gonna keep trying and try a few different ways maybe with a few different wigs and just see what we get but anyways thank you so much for watching this vlog make sure you hit the subscribe button down below leave me a comment what you think if you have any tips for my hair or any of the hairstyles or if you would try out this ball cap method and as always i'll see you in my next video bye